Hi. So, have you ever wondered what the land was like 600 million years ago? Well, you, of course you have, because if you haven't, then you have no sort of imagination. Anyways, you're probably wondering why I'm here, slightly insulting your train of thought and talking to a camera about who knows what. But I'm here to talk about what our world around us looked like 600 million years ago and more. Before this time period, Earth was one huge landmass, just a big wad of land called Rodinia. Well, around 600 million years ago, Rodinia would be split into two separate landmasses called North Dakota and South Dakota. I hope you people out there didn't believe me because you would be so incorrect and gullible that it would very well frighten me. These two separate landmasses were called Gawana and Laurentia. These ancient continents were very much alike. And yes, you can believe me. I will not hit you with the mighty curveball of history. But these two continents, however, had a big difference. The difference was Gondwana was pretty much the southern hemisphere, while Laurentia was mostly the northern hemisphere. These two continents were separated by an ocean by the name of Laptus. Anyways, let's fast forward about 299 million years ago to the Permian times. Wow, seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? Well, you were probably thinking, when the world happened? Ha <laughs> ha, get it? Anyways, I'll give you time to think about the answer to that question yourself. Well, Gondwana and Laurentia kind of collided together and made a new world called Pangaea. That kind of led to the birth of a new world. Nothing too important though, right? But this led to the world being one big blob of very hot land. Pangaea was surrounded by one ocean called Panthalassa, and this led to the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. Anyways, do you guys have any questions? Didn't think so. Thanks for watching.